What's up, everybody? It's Brandon, and I'm back with another knee-jerk reaction review. And since it's Wednesday, you might be able to guess what this knee-jerk reaction is. That, of course, is the Chucky series. Now, if you're not up to speed, I've actually been enjoying the series pretty well. Like, it's not the most amazing thing ever, but it's surprising me in just how good it is coming from a big fan of the franchise and coming from somebody that's not all the way on board with Don Mancini anymore. Now you're taking Chucky from the big screen to the small screen. Now, as always, well, not as always, as of last week, I will be doing spoilers, but it will never be spoilers for this week's vi episode, I should say, I almost a video. But I will carry over spoilers from last week's episode. So if you haven't seen any of it, tune the fuck off. But anyways, did I enjoy episode four? I gotta tell you, I did. I thought there was some interesting buildup in this one. Again, this is what this show has done so well so far. So far, it's not that anything crazy is happening to where it's like off the wall, but it's doing exactly what a TV show should. Now, there is crazy things along the way, but it's like slowly peeling back everything, slowly letting you into the world, slowly making decisions happen that can impact stuff further and keeps that brain rolling like, what could this lead to? Could it lead to this? Could it lead to that? And sometimes, you know what? It does. And other times... Not so much, or maybe it hasn't been revealed yet that it will, in fact, lead to that. And that's what good shows do. They keep it in mind that this whole thing is a marathon. It's not a sprint. But at the same time, they keep you engaged. This show is doing that pretty damn well. Um, I like a certain pairing in this episode that happens. Some unlikely people um, happen to pair up and happen to have to put differences aside due to a common interest. Now, this is something that isn't a spoiler, but to be honest with you, you might be able to put two and two together. But if you can't, hell yeah. So, you know what? You're still in the dark. But if you can, I'm sorry. There's not really any other way to put that. It's not like a, you know, oh my God type of spoiler. Um, but also, we see Jake um, go through this, you know, trepidation once more and it kind of feels like it might be the last time will jake step over into like chucky's reign where he wants him to kill we see him really 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 come to face with this like we have in the past but it, there is a finality to this where it kind of does feel like this might be the last chance of that like he might finally cross completely over into chucky range or he might cross completely over into i'm not doing that range so that's interesting for this episode and then, of course, uh, there is a certain character that kind of dives back into some Charles Lee Ray lore. Now, if you're not hip to Chucky for some reason, you're watching this video, Charles Lee Ray is Chucky. So we kind of get to hear more about him and the urban legend. Is it an urban legend or not? Um, that's something that comes into play with the whole Chucky situation. I won't go too deep into that. And then, of course, we have, uh, due to this, uh, more flashbacks. And the flashbacks... You know, they're fine. They're not great, but they're not horrible either. It's not ruining anything, but I will say if they keep doing this like every episode, I'll kind of be like, all right, man, you're kind of doing too much here. And I know you can dive back into Chucky's, you know, origins a little bit more. I should say Charles Lee Ray's origins a little bit more, but at the same time, you don't want to give away too much that ruins you know, the mysteriousness of the character. Now, he's not Michael Myers, but at the same time, you don't want it all laid out on a plate like, here it is, here's everything that is Charles Lee Ray. There is an importance to keep some of that mystery. So I'm curious if this is now going to be the norm, because this is now two weeks in a row we're having flashbacks. I don't need that. Now, these two weeks, fine. Maybe there's one more, like in the season finale, fine. But if this is an every week thing, mm, maybe they're doing too much. But again, all these things, it depends on how it is handled. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Pretty uh, cut and dry. Um, I don't really have much else to say because I don't like to spoil these things. I just like to sell the flavor a little bit. Um, things definitely progress forward here. And I will say the ending, you know, kind of goes out with a bang. We don't get a lot of Chucky in this one, actually. But that's not necessarily a bad thing because the Chucky we do get in this, he's actually really good for the shorter amount of time compared to other episodes that you get him. You know, first episode aside, because it was like a buildup where he's just in doll form. But he's really solid when he is in Charles Lee Ray, Chucky form, as you know. And um, everything before that, you know, there's meaning behind it. There's reasons why you are not seeing him. So 
you know, it's justified. It's good. And in the end, it's very, you know, intriguing where like they can go to the next episode. You're like, oh, shit. As I've said, I think in like almost every episode, because this show has done a good job with this. But once again, there's another layer of like the shit's about to go down, like the shit's about to hit the fan because something happened at the end of that episode where everything seemed like it flipped on its head a little bit. And now cats out of the bag. Shit's going to go fucking crazy. So take that as you will. That's Child's Play, episode four. Let me know if y'all been watching it, man. It's been pretty good so far. I'll give this episode... Again, I'm going to stick with the same score as uh, two and three. I'm going to give it a 7.5. I think that's what I gave the other ones. Maybe not, but I think it is. So I'm going to say it's the same, but maybe I'm wrong. Let me know if you've been keeping up with these. But yeah, 7.5 out of 10. Solid. Still not great, but damn solid. Keep them coming. Love you guys.